Today's topic is laryngitis. Laryngitis is an inflammation of your voice box or larynx from overuse, irritation, or infection. The larynx, also referred to as the voice box, is home to the vocal cords. These are vital to the processes of breathing, swallowing, and talking. The vocal cords are two small folds of mucous membrane covering cartilage and muscle that vibrate to produce sound. Causes Acute laryngitis Acute laryngitis is a temporary condition caused by overusing the vocal cords. It can also be caused by an infection. Treating the underlying condition causes the laryngitis to go away. Acute laryngitis can be caused by viral infections, straining your vocal cords by talking or yelling, bacterial infections, drinking too much alcohol, chronic laryngitis. Chronic laryngitis results from long-term exposure to irritants. It's usually more severe and has longer-lasting effects than acute laryngitis. Chronic laryngitis can be caused by frequent exposure to harmful chemicals or allergens, acid reflux, frequent sinus infections, smoking or being around smokers, overusing your voice, low-grade yeast infections caused by frequent use of an asthma inhaler, cancer, paralysis of the vocal cords, or changes in vocal cord shape as you age can also cause persistent hoarseness and sore throats. Signs and Symptoms Common symptoms of chronic laryngitis include hoarseness, loss of voice, a raw or irritated throat, a dry cough, fever, swelling of the glands in your neck or lymph nodes, difficulty swallowing. Diagnosis Many times you can be evaluated with a thorough, complete history and physical exam. The doctor will pay particular attention to the affected patient's ears, nose, throat, and neck. If symptoms are severe, particularly in children, the doctor may order a neck or chest x-ray. The doctor may also choose to look at the patient's throat with a small lighted scope. This thin scope is inserted through the nose after numbing the nose and nostrils. The procedure only takes a few minutes and may yield valuable information, especially regarding the status of the recurrent laryngeal nerve that controls the movement of the vocal folds or vocal cords. Sometimes in children, rarely in adults, the doctor may order blood work, such as a complete blood cell count or CBC. Treatments and Medication The best treatment is to rest your voice. Without the stress of everyday use, it will often recover on its own. If your need to speak clearly is urgent, a doctor may prescribe corticosteroids. This is a class of man-made drugs that mimic hormones, such as cortisol, that your body makes naturally they reduce swelling. You can try a number of home remedies to aid in your healing. Drink plenty of fluids. Early on, swallowing may be painful, but the more you're hydrated, the better. But avoid alcohol and caffeine. Use humidifiers and menthol inhalers. Moisture is your friend, and menthol can be soothing. Gargle with warm salt water. The salinity not only soothes the area, but also reduces swelling. Avoid dry, smoky, or dusty rooms. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.